SEI is a layer one blockchain that boasts faster transactions than Solana with 20,000 transactions per second. And it's rapidly gaining not only popularity, but also market share. And so in today's video, I wanna cover exactly how to set up a wallet. It's gonna be the Compass Wallet app on your Chrome browser as an extension. You can also set it up on your device such as Android or Apple. And we're also gonna be covering how to bridge your tokens from one of many different blockchains over to SEI. And this will be your first step in getting started with the SEI ecosystem. So to get started with the Compass Wallet, we're going to actually follow a nice and easy guide on getting started with the SCI network. And I will have this linked in the description along with any other links that are you know, needed for today's tutorial. So if you guys need those, just go ahead and scroll down a little bit into the description. You'll be able to find links to everything. And if you get lost, you can follow along with this guide as well. So the very first link is how to create an SCI wallet using Compass. We can click that and come on over to this second little how to guide here. And essentially it's going to tell you just to, you know, click on this button here. Um, I'll also have this link in the description below. So you guys don't need to come over here unless you get lost, but it's going to open up the web page for the Chrome extension. We're going to download that and start the install process on our wallet. So let's go ahead and get started. And we can see here, we just need to add to Chrome by clicking this big blue button right here. And it's going to start the download. We're going to click add extension and that'll get us set up here. And once that's downloaded, we're going to see it pop up right here. You need to click this puzzle piece and just click the pin button, which will actually pin it. And you'll see it right there. It's a little black symbol um, with kind of looks like a little ninja star or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what that is. I guess it's a compass actually. Yeah. North, uh, south, east, west, and then the little dot for north uh, makes sense as it is called a compass wallet. Um, so we can do several things here. Once we're at this stage, we can create a new wallet and this is going to go through the process of like setting up a new wallet. You guys can see it's going to give you um, your recovery phrase. You're going to need to copy that down. Do not show this to anyone, but make sure you have a couple copies of this in several safe places. So if you lose one, you can get another one or something happens uh, to your laptop or computer, um, or you need to import it into your mobile device. This is essentially your password for the wallet. Now I'm going to be going back because I'm actually going to be importing mine, but you will need to save this if you're setting up a new wallet wallet um, and what you're going to do is then you know paste in these in the correct order to verify that you do have it saved somewhere um, so you guys can just click that to copy the clipboard maybe put it in like a word document or a you know just basic notepad and then maybe email it to yourself or something like that make sure it's with an email that no one else has access to um, this video isn't going to be covering exactly wallet security but i just want to let you guys know that you should make sure it is backed up somewhere very safe um, the other options here that I mentioned that we can do is we can import from a Leap wallet, a Kepler wallet. We can use a recovery phrase or a private key. So again, I'm going to be posting in my private key from my Kepler wallet. I think this is the easiest way. It asks for a 12 uh, seed phrase if you do it this way, but I have the private key. So I'm just going to be doing it that way. I'll go ahead and pause this video and we'll come back in a second once my wallet is set up. Okay, now that I've pasted in my private key, it's gonna ask me to set up a password. So again, make sure this is a password that you don't use for like, just like anything. So if somebody gains your password to something else, they don't also have access to your wallet. So go ahead and set up your wallet password now. There we go, I missed the confetti um, once I turned back on the screen recording here, but you get a little confetti. Congratulations, you're ready to go. And you can access your wallet by using these short keys, um, command, up and L or control plus shift and L if you are on Windows. Um, so that's nice and easy. And then again here, I already told you guys about this, but you want to just click that little puzzle piece and make sure you click the pin so it's there. Otherwise, you'll have to, you know, go in every single time and get it. But it's nice and easy just to have it pinned. And when we click on that, we can now see our wallet. I already have some SEI tokens in here. I didn't have this wallet on this browser that I use for recording my videos, but I did already have it on my main PC. And you can see I do have a little bit of SEI in there. I've already been investing in some meme coins and we'll get to that in later videos. Um, but the first thing I just wanted to cover was the most basic is setting up the wallet. 
Now that we've set up our wallet, you guys are gonna need a little bit of SEI to transact on the network. And most likely you wanna bridge over some tokens. So that will be the next thing we'll be covering. Embark on a journey of knowledge with our Crypto Mastery course. You'll gain insights from eight comprehensive lessons, delve into the intricities of blockchain technology and receive personalized guidance through a one-on-one -on -one consultation. As a bonus, you'll gain access to a wealth of additional resources. Limited spaces are available, so secure your spot today by using the link in the description below. All right, so coming back to the guide, and again, you guys can find that linked in the description, we do see a, another little short guide here, how to bridge funds from Ethereum and other blockchains to your SEI wallet, and then how to bridge funds back from SEI to Ethereum and other blockchains. Essentially, it's gonna be the same process. So we're gonna just click on this first one here. And coming down, we can see there is a good number of different blockchains that you're able to bridge from. We do have Ethereum, Solana, Polygon, Arbitrum, BNB Smart Chain, essentially Binance Smart Chain there. We have Osmosis and we do have Optimism. Now the process, as you guys can read here, is going to be the exact same process. It's just depending on what wallet you're bridging over from and how you're gonna connect with the network. But basically what we need to do is to open up the Bridge app. So I already have that opened up here. It is app.sei.io forward slash bridge. And again, you guys can find that linked in the description below. Now we come over here and it says, always make sure you're connecting to a genuine SEI site. We will never ask for your seed phrase or private keys. Please be aware that the bridge page on the SEI site is not handled by SEI in any way. The bridge page is only a front end for an independent third party bridging protocols that are managed and operated by completely separate teams. By clicking the above button, you do agree to the term. So again, we have to agree and just click agree. So again, just to reiterate that guys, um, there are a bunch of different bridges that you're able to connect with. However, they're not operated by actual SEI team. And so um, we can see this one right here is powered by Wormhole. So if you guys wanna do your own due diligence and you know research who they are, go ahead. But essentially this is what you're gonna need to do to actually do the bridging. Um, the next step is gonna be to connect our wallet. So just click here, connect wallet. And I am gonna get a error message that says this website is not available in my country. And so that's unfortunate. You guys will need to hop on a VPN if you wanna do this in a country that it is not um, you know, available for you. Obviously not financial advice or legal advice, just letting you know there is a way around that is if you appear as though you're in another country, we will be able to get this swap done. Essentially, it's going to be pretty basic and straightforward. You're going to go ahead and just click on the network. So either Solana, Ethereum, any one of the other ones. And then you're going to connect that, you know, uh, correlating wallet. So like, for example, Solana would most likely be the Phantom wallet or Ethereum would most likely be your MetaMask wallet or BNB would be your Binance Smart Chain wallet or whatever else you guys are using. Uh, most of these other ones might be on like Kepler here or possibly just on MetaMask on another um, chain. So um, fairly simple, you're gonna go ahead and pick the chain you want. Um, let's just say it's Ethereum, and then we're going to SEI. And if we wanted to go back the other way, as I mentioned, it's the same process. So for any reason in the future, you guys wanted to get money off of SEI, you just click this and we could go from SEI to any of these chains. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Let's just assume it is Solana to SEI. We can then choose our token and it looks like the only one available here is USDC for Solana. Um, if we go to Ethereum, we might have a few more options. We have Ethereum, USDC, uh, Wrap Bitcoin, or this other one here. And coming down to like a Polygon, it looks like it's gonna be fairly similar. Binance Smart Chain probably has BNB. No, it doesn't actually only has USDT. Um, but yeah, guys, you're going to need one of those stable coins to bridge over. So again, just going back to Solana, let's assume you have USDC on Solana. You're going to choose the amount. Let's just say like 500 and it's asking me to connect my wallet. So it's not even allowing me to do that. And then your destination here is where you're going to paste in your SCI wallet address. So we can come up top here and find that. Just click on the compass address. Uh, compass wallet app and we're going to see our address right here we click this little copy button and we'll be able to copy and paste that right in so now we do have the recipient set as our um, current new wallet that we just set up here for compass so that's basically it you're going to click bridge you have to pay the gas fees on the network 
and within a few minutes you should have your tokens in your SEI wallet. The other way that you guys could do it is through a fiat on ramp. This is personally how I went about doing it is I do use uh, Coinbase and you guys will find a link below in the description if you need to set up a Coinbase account and go ahead and use that link if you want to help out my channel. Um, but I use Coinbase as my fiat on ramp and I just buy with USD on um, whatever token I'm looking for. In this case, it would be SEI. And then I can send my tokens from Coinbase to SEI. And we can do that here by just clicking this button again, open up the wallet click receive we'll get a qr code you scan the qr code on the mobile app and send those tokens over and you're good to go you should have some sei and you're now able to interact with the sei network look forward to future videos where i cover um, all kinds of different stuff in the ecosystem where you would go to do research where you'd want to trade your coins where you want to swap what type of different meme coins are popping off nfts all kinds of great stuff is happening on sci so i do see in the future this being a big token that i cover on the channel um, again guys thank you for watching if you did learn something in today's video do consider subscribing and clicking the bell on to be notified as i drop future videos also tap on that thumbs up button as it does help my video get out to more people just like you if you want to chat with me and be involved in my private group i do have a discord channel also linked in the description below and the first 50 members to join up are getting free vip lifetime access so don't wait if you guys want to join up we're trying to grow that we're at about 44 uh yeah somewhere around 40 members as of the time of recording this Hopefully it'll be growing and be over 50 soon. Um, there'll always be a public chat in there, but I do have a private chat for those VIP members if you guys get in early, so don't hesitate. Um, again, thank you for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Let's get that coin.